tips and tricks required to be able to score well in the speak about the photo question of your Duolingo exam. Let's start by understanding the assessment criteria of the Duolingo exam. The first and the most important thing for us to remember is that your Duolingo exam is an integrated paper. Now, what I mean by saying that it is an integrated paper is that you will be, sorry, you will be judged for more than one skill at a time. There are four scores that will be given to you. Literacy stands for your ability to read and write. Comprehension stands for your ability to read and listen. Conversation stands for your ability to listen and speak. And production is your ability to write and speak. This is what makes your Duolingo exam to be an integrated paper. Because you will be getting these four scores, literacy, comprehension, conversation, production. These four scores will be added and divided by four to give you your overall score. There are 14 different types of questions that you can expect in your Duolingo exam, which appears on rotational basis. Now there is no fixed sequence that which will be the next question. It can be any because Duolingo is a completely AI based paper. So the system itself chooses the next question that you will get. Another important thing for you to remember is that your Duolingo paper is an adaptive paper, which means that the level of the next question will depend upon your performance in the prior question. So if I am getting all the questions correct, the level of the question goes up. If I am getting all the answers incorrect, the level of the question reduces. So that is the reason it is called an adaptive paper. Today, we are working on one specific type of question out of the 14 questions that can be expected, and that is speak about the photo. Let's start with an overview. In these types of questions, you get 20 seconds to observe the picture, which I can say that is actually very less because, you know, 20 seconds is the time in which you will just be able to take a glimpse of the picture. And as you start observing the details of the picture, you will notice that the 20 seconds are gone. So don't worry about that because you don't have to understand each and everything that is given in the picture. The reason being, when you start speaking, the picture remains in front of you, which is a very good thing. So what we will do is we will understand that how just by starting with the overview, you will start getting into the details, the in-depth of the picture. So you get 20 seconds to observe the picture and plan your answer. And then you have to speak for 30 to 90 seconds. Now you can stop anywhere between 30 to 90, but you know, stopping between 30 to 90 means the closer you are to 90, the better will be your score. Of course, you know, if one uh, candidate speaks for 31 seconds and the other speaks for 87 seconds, the content of the person who speaks for 87 seconds will definitely be more. The more the content, the better it is for the production area of your score. So with the content, the product, the score of production rises. Now, let's get into the details. This question appears only once. Good for you. So once you are done with this question, it's done. You can be mentally prepared that it will not appear again. You always have to pay close attention to the foreground and the background. Now, as I said that in 20 seconds, what will happen? You will be able to take a glimpse of the picture. Okay. Now, the first impression in my head will be Oh, this is a park. This is a building. There are a few vehicles parked in here. The trees are not very green. It seems as if the leaves are falling down. It's spring season. The sun is shining. The sun is not shining. It's cloudy. The people in the picture are, you know, first thing I'll notice is that there are two people in the picture. There are 10 people in the picture. This is a, the lone, it is a lonely marketplace. After that, what will happen is I will start going into the details. Like if there are people in the picture, I will say that they don't look very happy. They are very serious. They seem to be, you know, enjoying the moment. 
they seem to be having fun. So this is the first impression is the foreground. And then when I start speaking, I will start getting into the details of it. So this is the advantage of having the picture in front of me. You can also tell a story about the picture. Now, if I see a marketplace with a you know, lot of uh, those boards there, like sale up to 20%, up to 30%, and a lot of people plunging over to buy something from a particular shop, I can make a story based on that. Or if I see a few children playing by the beach or if they're playing football or cricket, and if I feel that, oh, they have, a, they have this cricket pitch, then I can make a story around it. Depending upon the picture, I can frame a story. But the point that I have here is that don't go too much beyond the story. Don't go too much into like, you know, that you are moving away from the topic. That should never happen. Because if you do that, you lose marks. Speak only about what you can see. Don't imagine that, you know, there might be another team of cricketers. There might be a few audience. If there are no audience, maybe there are no audience. So I shouldn't add that. If it looks like it is a uh, stadium, then only say that it is a stadium. If it is an open park or a ground, simply say that it is an open park or a ground. Use lots of different vocabulary. Now, instead of repeating the same adjectives, same verbs again and again, it's better to use synonyms. The more the type of words you use, the better will be your score. Also remember not to repeat the same sentence structure again and again, because what happens is while speaking, sometimes, you know, we are nervous. The first impression, you know, the exam fear is there at every age, I can say. Right? So even if young children have to give any exam, they are scared. And we as adults, if we also have to give any exam, we also feel scared. So what happens when we are scared, we tend to get nervous. Our speech gets disturbed. We fumble, we repeat content, which is, but of course, not a good idea. So for that, I would say remain focused, be calm before your exam. But of course, you're giving the Duolingo exam from your home, from the luxury of your home, nothing easier can be there. So remain calm, focus on your vocabulary, focus on your grammar, make sure that you include variety of sentences. It's very important that you include simple, compound and complex sentences. In nervousness, what happens? We tend to repeat the same type of sentences, like simple, 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 no. That should not happen. Instead of using simple, simple, simple sentences, whenever you think that you're about to take a pause, add a connector. However, moreover, at the same time, similarly, also, but at, uh, on the other hand, so the more, the better. If in one answer, you are able to include four to five connectors, nothing like it. Your score will definitely go up. So these are a few things that need to be taken care of. First of all, remember that you have 20 seconds and you have to speak. As for my advice, you should speak for 86 to 87 seconds and make sure that you stop speaking on the 89th second because we don't want the system to record an incomplete sentence for you. That should not happen. This question appears only once. First foreground, then background. Make a story if you possibly can, but very close to the picture. Speak only about what you see, different vocabulary, no repetition of the words, very important. And grammar should be perfect with a variety of sentences, simple, complex, and compound. Now that we know how to proceed, now that we know what will be our strategy Let's observe one picture. Okay, now the first impression that I get is this is a formal setup. I mean, the, the place is formal, the people are formally dressed 
And there seems to be some serious discussion. I mean, even if it is not serious, it is not a casual discussion. There is no informal discussion that is going on. That's the first impression that I have. So how, how can I start? The first thing that how many people can I see? Three people, right? Three people sitting in a at a formal place. Could be an office place. Yes, it looks like uh, looks like that it is a uh, one of the offices. So they are sitting in an in a formal place, looks like an office. Now what happens? The first thing was this. I can see three people. That's my next thing. They all are in formal attires. And out of these, I can say only two people are conversing. They are discussing something. Now, if I look at the people, now suppose, obviously, I cannot jump from one thing to another. So if first I am discussing about describing the place, I'll describe the place. Then I'll go on to the people. I'll describe them. Then I'll go to something else. I have to go step by step. So let's start step by step. First, this is an official space overall. The people are sitting on a green or greenish to keep myself on a safer side. Now, what I will do is I'll not say green. I'll say on a greenish sofa, right? It's good to be safe then. Sorry. And a few tables and chairs can be seen on the background. That's it about the room. I think, yes, we've included everything. After describing the room, the space where they are, I will start describing that there are two people are in discussion. The two people who are in discussion, now I will go on describing them one by one. One of the person who is holding a document or a paper seems to be mature than the other person to whom he is explaining something. Now, if I very closely look at it, this looks like, you know, some kind of, a, I can see a bar graph here, so I can include it. Maybe they are discussing about some data, about some figures or something close to that. He is mature, I have to include that also. So mature means in this case, he can be his senior. Okay, and he is looking towards the person on his left hand side. His left is my left. Okay, now let's go on to this person. He seems to be the younger one or little younger. He could be his junior. He is wearing specs, very clear. And he is also formally dressed. Described both of them. Now I will go on to this person. The third person who can be seen sitting little away from these two is not involved in the conversation of these two people. He seems to be reading something. See, he has something in his hand. He seems to be reading something, maybe waiting for somebody or waiting to be called for an interview. Now, it can be vice versa. Maybe he is waiting for somebody or maybe he is waiting for his turn to come, right? So all the three people described. And I think that's it. it th this is the only content that I will be able to speak for in 86 seconds, 86 or 87. That is the time that we are uh, taking. So remember, when you practice for these types of questions, keep a picture in front of you, time. <coughs> so sorry. Remember to time yourself. Just one second. <coughs> oh, sorry for that. <coughs> Don't ever practice without timing yourself. Now that we have this, we have. Uh, planned our answer we know how to go about it let's read the sample answer okay yes this content i think is more than sufficient for 87 seconds remember don't pick up speed don't go very fast when you start speaking don't go very slow like and this was happening in the picture 
the picture has two people. No, the AI will judge you for everything. Maintain a consistent tempo that you normally speak with, right? Let's read this. This picture consists of an official setup with a sofa. We, just, we decided to use the color as well. Sofa and some chairs in the background. Three people, all men. Now, this is good. We did not include this. All men dressed in formal attire are present with two of them engaged in a conversation with each other. The overview is this only. They both are sitting together on a sofa and are having an official discussion. So in the sample answer, the third person has not been discussed about just that there are three people. Now, this was the overview, the first impression of the picture. Now let's get into, by the time you speak this much, I'm sure you'll be, you know, observing the minute, the little, little things that we discussed. Okay. The gentleman whose face is visible has gray hair, right? We discussed that he is mature. So gray hair can also be said, indicating that he is much senior to the other person he is talking to. Senior, elder, anything. The young man to whom he is talking is wearing glasses. Moreover, now the use of connectors is very important. The old man has a document in his left. Oh, we did not notice that it is in his left hand or right hand. In his left hand, that has some pictures of graphs indicating that the talk is based on data and statistics to be closer to what they are discussing. Further, they both appear to be in a serious official discussion. Since the setup is official, it's formal, so obviously they are in a official discussion, a serious discussion. And you can also say that the senior person is explaining something or showing something to the junior one. Now we go on to the person who is behind them. The other person visible in this frame is sitting alone at a distance from these two, not indulged with them, no connection at all. These two men with a paper in his hand. Yes, we said that he is reading something. He seems to be waiting for somebody or for an appointment with anyone. So the same thing, you know, either he is waiting or he is waiting to be called for an interview. The picture seems to be taken from proximity and the office room is lit up totally. Yes, the picture. Actually, you know, when, when I look at the back of this person, I can say that the picture, <coughs> the person taking the picture is not very far away. So now I want you to practice reading this question, this sample answer in 87 to 88 seconds. Before the 90th second, you should be done. No incomplete sentence to go into the microphone. Why should we give something negative? <coughs> I hope this picture and the detailed description is clear to everyone. So done with this, let's go to the next picture. Oh, completely opposite. Earlier we had adults, now we have young children. Earlier it was an official setup. This is a classroom and a classroom. The first impression is that this is, a, of course, if it is a classroom, then I cannot say that it's informal, right? So this picture is of a classroom where toddlers, we can call them toddlers, can be seen sitting on a table. Now, how many of them are there? First, let's describe the place. You know, oh, I can see the bunker beds here. I can see the this table here. I can see this table here and maybe something here. So what I will say that this is the setup of a classroom for very young children. The, there can be a few tables can be seen, colorful tables, you know, pink and green, use this word can be seen and children seem to be having 
their lunch. So it's a lunch break, obviously, or maybe, you know, any break for their meal. And then not to miss the bunker beds are there. How many kids are there? Three are these main and two are on the back side. Now, what are these three, the, you know, the main ones, what are they doing? Uh, the girl is, if I start describing from the girl, you can start describing from the boy, right? The girl is eating something and very seriously looking into her blue colored bowl, right? Uh, the boy who is in front of the picture seems to be posing for the picture. See, he is like this, so maybe he is posing for the picture so they know that their picture is being clicked and he is not eating in front of him instead of a blue bowl there is a pink bowl and then the third boy on the table his face is not very clearly visible so only half of his face can be seen seems to be putting something into his mouth two pictures Two other children can be seen on the background, but their faces are not visible. Right? These, the girl is sitting, yes, this girl and this boy, they are sitting on green chairs and the ones on the background are on pink chairs. Now, if I still have time, so I'll start going into more details. You know, uh, these pictures, let me just clear this first. A few pictures can be seen on the wall behind them, which is a tree and a few animals. Let's not get into the details of the animals. The, there are few pictures of trees, of a tree and a few animals on the wall behind them. And there is a door, but I don't think that you will be left with that much of time that you get into the details of the door. But still, a door can be seen for entering into the classroom. Done. These are all the details. And of course, uh, since these are very sweet little children, we can use more and more adjectives. Oh, another thing that I forgot is I was, I was about to talk about their dresses. When I noticed that dresses are not really visible, they are all wearing aprons. And yes, their aprons are all same. So I thought I missed their dress. But this is the reason that I did not notice the dress because they were all wearing similar apron. So for sure, that is their lunch break. Right. So now that my content is ready, let's get into reading the sample answer. The first impression. This picture looks like that of a play school, of a play school classroom. Right now, first school, then classroom. So this picture looks like that of a play school classroom with several children sitting on one colorful chairs in two groups in a round sitting arrangement. So this is group number one. This is group number two. Now the overall has been given. It seems like that it is, of course, it is their lunch break or it is their break time for kids as all of them are wearing aprons and having their food the overview now start getting into details the little girl is looking at her blue color bowl and is busy eating she's least bothered about somebody taking her picture the little boy sitting opposite to her is facing the camera and is making sweet gestures with his fingers and trying to say something or you know even if he's not trying to say something he's posing for the picture like this so you can say that as well your understanding of the picture should be clear so i thought that he's posing for the picture and we can also say that he is trying to say something to someone one more child sitting with these two is also facing the camera and putting something into his mouth okay now the three children have been described the room looks to be well arranged for small kids as on the wall there are colorful cutouts such as a tree and a few animals. So as I said, don't get into the details of the animals. Time will run out. The other wall also has some paper decorations over it. 
perfect this because you know these are not clear so on one wall there are there is a tree and animals and on the other wall there are few other decorative things further the room seems to have wooden furniture in the background however the chairs and tables for kids are made up of colorful plastic material now this bit i can say you will include it only if after describing each and every corner of the picture you think that you still have 4 to 5 seconds don't leave it blank don't let those 4 to 5 seconds go because if you add even two sentences you know it will be very good for you so do include them right so after reading this when you practice reading this, I again want you to maintain a consistent tempo and try to finish this. If it's okay, even if you, you know, you're able to read this much in 87 to 88 seconds, good to go, right? This is extra for those people who are actually, you know, fast speakers, right? So I hope this one is clear and how to use connectors, how to take proper pauses, modulate your voice, all that is very important. So here we go with a practice question for you. Okay, now the first impression. I'll just give you a few tips and this is your practice question. So you will be doing it yourself. Now, is she flying in the air? No, she is. She is on this swing made of cloth. She is, first of all, a girl can be seen in yoga pose. I'm not giving you sentences. I'm not trying to put words into your mouth. So I'm just giving you an idea. Yoga pose, girl. There are similar swings. So I'm not, I'm sure it's not a gym, right? Because in gym, you might not have this kind of an arrangement. So it can be a yoga center, right? At the back, a glass window. You have to talk about her pose. You can talk about the expression on her face. You can talk about how dedicated she seems to be and how in you know how she is completely into her meditation. Try this, practice this, try speaking for this as much as you can. Start with the overview, then get into details and see if you can cover it for 